Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have a frequency counter and it's super old. Well, super old is 30 years old. Uh, I built this myself and from a kit. And it was in a time before uh, the internet was very popular. It was from uh, SI Electronics in uh, Amoude, just around the corner here. Uh, the company existed around 86 to 94. And uh, I think I built it in uh, 91. I didn't find anything on the internet about it with the schematic diagrams or anything. But I found the original paper. So I will scan that for you because I'm pretty sure a lot of the people my age actually built this one. And uh, yeah, as I said, it was before uh, the internet was very popular. So um, you really needed to order from an uh, electronic magazine. Then you go to your bank, you transfer the money in the description, you put your address and what kit you want. Then you wait a week for them to receive the pay slip from the bank. <laughs> and then they know you paid and then they send. So it took like two weeks before you have it, but then you have it and it is actually a nice uh, frequency counter. And it's also nice because I, I built it around 91. So I was before my 20s. And uh, it's it's up to 1.8 gigahertz, so 1800 megahertz, and it has nine digits, and uh, I think it still works. So, <laughs> uh, and it does work. I know it works, but I don't know if it's uh, still his calibration is still good. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see. Let's open it up, and I scan the the schematics for if you also have it. It's a more local Dutch, of course, but let's see. Well, I decided to do a live, uh, a live test. It, uh, it just comes from my stack. It's cold. I didn't warm it or anything. So we're just going to see. I have the power plug. I will just put it in. And, and it's running on an 8 uh, megahertz uh, simple crystal, not a special oscillator. So if we switch it on, it is on a very long time. You can see the gate. Now it's on the quick gate. Let's see. Just put my frequency standard. And I actually built uh, the one that has an extra input, also an LF, and it has an LF amplifier. And let's see first if this works. Oh, that's funny. It thinks it's 20 megahertz. Maybe it doesn't like the sine wave to uh, the square too much. So let's, let's put in a, a sine wave instead of a square. Yeah, he likes better the sine wave. Well, I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> but this is not bad at all. I think the longest uh, gate time is about uh, 30 seconds. Now it's actually 25.6, it says here. Yeah, and then we need to wait a bit. Okay, well, it did respond a little bit weird on the square wave because it says 20, but I, I remember that also from another old frequency counter because it doesn't have a filter and it doesn't have uh, two inputs for the for the yeah for the really low frequencies and uh, the higher so but apparently when you put the sine wave it is not a problem and uh, if i put an antenna and i transmit it does put the correct uh, value but uh, yeah it is not that i i took it out of my closet after 30 years and it has never been calibrated because i think uh, like three or four months ago I did another video and I compared this uh, frequency counter with another frequency counter. And then I think I, I, I adjusted it, but uh, it hasn't been touched for at least three or four months. And uh, it is uh, not something to be ashamed of, I think. Look at this. Oh, uh, that's cool. Well, let's uh, open it up and see what it is. Uh, Oh, 
Yes, and even the housing I I did myself. Uh, at that time, I was still in school, and uh, we also had the uh, yeah metal class uh, just to, and uh, you just had uh, an alum- aluminium uh, plate, and then you just fold it with the folder machine, and then uh, yeah, you have this. So this was completely made from one aluminium plate. And uh, yeah, well, as you can see, the PCB was from a kit, so that looked really nice. And the rest I just tried to do as good as I can, but uh, this was 30 years ago. And uh, less experienced, I would say. But you can see here, this is the LF module, as an extra time base, and also it has an LF amplifier. So uh, yeah, you can measure also the lower frequencies. And I made the uh, here a modification for the reset lines okay well if we have a look in the, in the top it is uh, quite basic and it actually makes it very nice um, we have the yeah this is the extra option of the lf but this is a little time base in the bottom here you can see the other trimmer is the other time base uh, the signal goes in through the amplifiers and then we have here some dividing we have the, the multi vibrators and then we have the BCD decoding and then the display decoding and then we just go out and um, depending on the time base switch uh, you have your dividing also so it's kind of uh, well, I will show you the schematics well, I'm not sure it's very clear but I will put the schematics in the in the in the comment section in the descriptions so uh, you can download it if you if you uh, also have it or you want to make it uh, nowadays of course you have maybe one ic that already does a lot uh, like the the bcd and the display is usually already in one and the one ic but uh, I, I i like the basics of of this thing well, in my front you cannot really see it but the on off is still clear. I, I used a edit marker, but a magic marker, but yeah, over the years it slowly went off. Um, so I have here yeah, the time base, but depending on HF or LF, and this is my LF or HF, then you switch from this input to this input. And here I think there is also a filter below five kilohertz or above and this is the time base setting and if you look at the documentation you can run it on different crystals and then you in your first oscillator and then depends what you need to divide it uh, but i used eight the, the and then if you pick the right division then you should have here the 25 milliseconds 200 65 milliseconds two and a half seconds or the 25 seconds and uh, yes you, you you like to have uh, five behind the comma so then you need to wait a little bit 25 seconds uh, but it works as you as you have seen in my uh, in the start of my video yeah, and uh, what I did not show you yet is uh, if it even goes uh, up to the 1.8 gigahertz as, uh, as the schematic said it would be. And uh, so I'm just putting here uh, 0 dBm. Um, I'm now at 190 megahertz. So just uh, let's uh, go up a little bit. And um, first. To 20, well, I'm go 500. Let's see. Yes, it does 500. Let me change a little bit the time base. A thousand. <laughs> yeah, it actually does that. Cool. Uh, 11. And it's fast. 
1600, 1600, 70, now it starts to lose a little bit count. And that could be because the sensitivity starts to drop at some point. And uh, yeah, I can only do zero dBm with this one. And my Marconi doesn't go that high. So I think if we go really go to 1800, that it's just uh, going, nah, it, uh, it loses. So let's say it still goes up to 1.6 gigas. Not bad. So uh, that's it. My old uh, multimeter built from a kit, built the casing myself, and uh, it still works. And uh, I just did a little adjustment and look at this. It is still running fine. Uh, and that shows that, that even the, the old technique um, yeah, still works super fine. And, and the more basic uh, it is designed, the more stable it is because look at this. So <laughs> thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.